Hey everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about POCO F1's camera settings in detail. So as you guys know, POCO F1 has some amazing set of options and features. When you utilize it properly, you'll be getting some great results. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about, uh, give you a walkthrough basically of all the camera settings that's available on the POCO F1 and how to get some really amazing results. So if you are new to my channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and do like this video if you find it helpful. Alright then, without wasting any more time, let's look at the POCO F1's camera settings in detail. So dear friends, this is the default camera user interface of the POCO F1. As you can see, now Xiaomi throws in a very nice set of options and features into their camera so that you'll get some really good results when tweaked a little bit. So that's what we'll be looking in this video. As you can see, they have introduced a new option which is artificial intelligence, that's AI camera. Now what this does is basically uses the depth sensor and recognizes the different scenes and it will boost the saturation. That means the greens will become more greens, the reds will become more red so all sorts of that as you can see the sky blue has become a little bit more blue and when you capture this with the artificial intelligence it will give you amazing results now what i would suggest here is uh, use this artificial intelligence while taking landscape or flowers or even leaves photography not while capturing any person's images that way uh, if you capture persons using ai camera it will obviously de detect that it is a portrait but then still it uh, boosts pretty much everything and gives you some really uh, not so good results i would say that's why use this ai camera while capturing landscapes or flowers or uh, and other all sorts of that except the person's face talking brief hdr is used uh, especially while capturing landscape pictures so that you get proper uh, sky details that means if there is any clouds it will recognize properly while you are uh, uh, capturing it in hdr so that's how you can use hdr it's basically high dynamic range that means all the shades of black and all shades of uh, white will try to cover in one picture frame so it basically captures three images and uh, stacks them together to give you one image so that looks fantastic so that's uh, why you use this hdr while capturing landscape pictures you can turn it off and on and there is auto hdr as well which is really nice so the next setting here is the tilt shift so it's basically found here with the three stripes if you just tap on this tilt shift there is circle and as well as parallel now parallel tilt shift is used while you are capturing street photography say that there is one leading line there is some path you can actually keep that in sharp intact and the rest of the thing will get blurred now as you can see with this subject i am uh, using the circle tilt shift that way inside the circle wherever i move the circle it will be sharp and the rest of the thing gets blurred so for subjects like these or if you are even capturing flowers this still shift can give you some really sharp images of that particular subject and blur the rest of the background as you can see if i just tap on this uh, photo now tilt shift mode is enabled as you can see the rest of the thing is blurred at the middle of the picture remains sharp now in situations like this as you can see there is a leading path over here i want only this frame in to be in focus and the rest of the unwanted things to be blurred what i can literally do is use the parallel and as you can see if i just tap and hold swipe like this as you can see uh, how much you want to blur the background how much you want to get sharp images that is what it decides as you can see tilt shift works in this way so say that i want this much in proper focus the rest of the thing to be blurred so i hold steady use the grid lines and just tap the picture so tilt shift is enabled you can even swipe like this and get the narrow path in focus and literally blur the rest of the thing in the background so that's how you can use the tilt shift to its maximum extent and get some really awesome results so next as you swipe up like this here's the square mode uh, this is used while you are capturing pictures for say social media so if you want to share images instantly on instagram what you can do is use the square mode quickly capture the picture and boom there you can share the image you can also use this ai technology which boosts the saturation quite a bit and gives you some uh, really nice looking images out of the box so that's how you can use the ai camera and instantly share your images on the instagram without having to lose any of the frame here so that's how you can utilize the square mode so the next mode we'll be looking at here is the manual mode itself now poco phone poco f1 has uh, awesome manual settings that you can use it to the maximum extent and get some really nice looking results 
Now the first thing as you notice here we go to manual mode and the first thing you notice here is the peak off and on. So the color red here indicates that this part of the subject is in proper focus. Now if I use this F, if I just, just tap on this, this is the manual focus. Now it goes all the way from closest to distance, say that if I just point the finger here this is the closest distance as you can see it is telling me that this part of the subject is in focus so this really helps in determining where the focus is right now so if I just swipe down like this and as it gets to the infinity as it clearly shows with the red marks that this part of the subject is in proper focus so that's why I suggest you to keep uh, uh, up to the 90 number and then capture the image so that everything will be in proper focus so you can use this speaking function to accurately focus on the subject and get some sharp results and the next one here is the shutter speed now shutter speed for the POCO F1 ranges all the way from 32 seconds so it goes up to 1 by 1000 of a second so there is not really to instantly freeze the moment because it goes up to 1 by 1000 second say that if you are having a note 9 and there it goes all the way up to 1 by 24,000 of a second so that means you can quickly freeze the motion uh, wherever you are but then here what uh, Xiaomi has done is instead they have given you up to 32 seconds that means night photography is really awesome with this phone you can get some nice light trials nice night photography using this 32 seconds or 16 seconds of exposure time so that's where it is used and even to get smooth looking shots of the waterfall or uh, uh, say some water subjects you can use this shutter speed compensate this shutter speed along with the ISO value to get some really nice looking images I'll also be making a separate video on night photography so stay tuned hit that like button if you want to watch that video all right then the next thing here to look out for is the ISO now keep this ISO number as low as possible every time because if you increase the ISO number uh, it gets a little bit noisier but then you can compensate this ISO especially in the night and dark situations so you can use it to 1600 or even 800 get the faster shutter speed say 1 by 130 or 1 by 60 second 1 by 125 second then get some sharp looking images so that's how you can compensate the ISO value as well as shutter speed now fast shutter speed can be used to freeze the moment slow shutter speed to get the motion inside the image so that's how you can use the shutter speed as well as ISO in combination so the next one here is the white balance now white balance is used to get accurate colors in whatever situation you are as you can see we are in a very landscape environment and there are lots of trees and blue sky here so if you find this uh, color to be inaccurate what you can do is use this different modes different presets and uh, get some accurate looking colors now for example if you even don't find with these preset modes what you can do is use this custom mode so custom white balance is also available on POCO F1 which is really impressive and here you can change the numbers individually to get the most accurate uh, color uh, inside your picture so if I move to the lower number say that I'm capturing under 4000 Kelvin uh, what this does is it, it makes the image look cooler so if I increase the uh, white balance number it gets warmer as you can see so you can even compensate that and get accurate looking colors from the subject so this is how you can use the white balance manually to get some really nice looking images so guys i hope this video was helpful this was just a part one i'll be making part two video as you guys know there's a lot to learn about the poco f1's camera settings there are a lot of settings that you can tweak so all those things will be explained in the next video if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button stay tuned for that video hit that like button as well share with your friends to support our channel and uh, yeah see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye